Let's dig into everything new in iOS 13.3 and iPadOS 13.3. Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider. We are talking about the latest release of iOS, that is iOS 13.3 and iPadOS 13.3. The first thing is a new communication limits option inside of screen time. It essentially lets parents limit who their kids talk to during different parts of the day. Maybe during their downtime when they're not supposed to be on their devices, they can only talk to family, whereas the rest of the time they can talk to all their friends. It's easy to set up and works in the phone app, messages, and FaceTime. Going over to the news app. Now, news app articles for News Plus subscribers looking at the Wall Street Journal and other top publications, there's been a redesign to the actual articles themselves, so they should look better than ever for everyone who subscribes to that News Plus platform. Also on the bottom, we have the arrow icon so you can go back and forth between different articles, really easy to move between, and you can like or dislike an article right from the article screen itself, a feature that was removed in iOS 12.2. Pulling up stocks, stocks now can be displayed in English or French for Canadian users. We have the stories, whenever you pull up these Apple news stories inside of stocks, you'll see we also have those arrow icons on the bottom here as well and anywhere else that you see a news article appearing, you'll have those icons down there. And if we go all the way to the bottom of the stocks article, you'll see recommended stories to continue reading from that same publication. So we're reading an NPR article and we have two other related NPR articles recommended at the bottom. If we go into photos and we're looking for a video, so anytime you're editing a video or trimming a video, uh, probably the easiest way is just to jump into the videos media types album within the photos app. But whenever you are editing that video and you're trimming something up, instead of saving it as itself or replacing it, it'll now save it as a new clip or at least give you that option. So if I trim this back a little bit, hit done, you can see the modal on the bottom that lets me save the video or save video as a new clip and keep both of them. Safari now supports FIDO2 security keys over Lightning, USB, or NFC. iOS supported these before, but now it's supported natively inside of Safari. If we venture into settings once more, we uh, maybe have to back out a little bit from our screen time views, but we go into general and then into keyboards. All the way at the bottom, there's a new toggle called Memoji. Now this allows you to turn it on or off and prevent those Memoji stickers from showing up in your emoji keyboard. If you don't care for an emoji or Memoji, then you can go ahead and just turn this off and not worry about it. There has been a small tweak to the watch icon. Basically the small digital crown there has been changed from black to a gray. Very small tweak, but is apparent if you look close enough. A big feature users were excited for was support for external mice inside of iPadOS and iOS 13. Well, inside of iOS 13.3 and iPadOS 13.3, we have a bunch of changes going on. So we're head to the assistive touch menu inside of settings, and you'll see we have new options for dwell control, custom gestures, new hold and drag options for tap and mouse actions, but possibly most exciting is support for hot corners. Now you just drag your mouse into any of the four corners of your display, and you can run any of these commands. So there's some basic ones at the top, like opening up Apple Pay, but it also works with any shortcut action. So any shortcut action you already have, you can just run your mouse in the corner and run that action. It is so easy to do and really cool. So if you're using a mouse with your iPad, you may want to look into this and really supercharge your workflow. Inside of music, now when you go to share, instead of view album, it says show album. They've also changed the icon from a little right hand arrow to an Apple Music icon. And finally, rounding out our list inside of the Find My app, Apple has updated the PowerBeats Pro icon. PowerBeats Pro are still fairly new and Apple has updated the icon inside of the Find My app. Otherwise, there's been a bunch of smaller bug fixes and improvements, and I'd love to know if you found anything else that has changed. Reach me directly on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see and follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.